in your next comic. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. We can do better than that over here. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, he's the producer of every show. Put us all together tonight. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Give it up for Steven Pratt. Yeah. Give it up for Steven Pratt. Give it up for Chris, everybody. Holy shit. Yeah, he's a tremendous host. I do wish he gave me that advice about her hair earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Uh, Oh my goodness, I'll figure this out. What's going on? I'm happy to be here. Thanks for coming on, everybody. You guys are tremendous. Uh, what's up? The Emperor's Chairs, that's nice. <laughs> so we decide whether or not the comic lives or dies. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's actually just you're not allowed to go to the bathroom seats. That's what it looks like. You got it anytime. Don't feel weird about it. We will bring it up, but don't feel weird about it. Uh, I don't know. How was everybody's Valentine's Day? All right, you just made me sad. Everybody else, uh, all at once, you guys made me real sad. Um, I was all right. I uh, my friend had a good Valentine. He had an interesting Valentine's Day. What happened? So he uh, his birthday is actually on Valentine's Day, um, and so his wife wanted to do something special for him. Not just because it was Valentine's Day and his birthday, but it's their first Valentine's Day together as a married couple. So she what she did was she got boudoir photos taken. Now, if you don't know what boudoir photos are, they're like semi risque, like well, they're like they're like semi nude kind of risque, for a lot of lingerie, a lot of like over the shoulder. <laughs> uh, that was too sexy. You're right. I, 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 that was too much sex all at once. Um, but I, so she got those made into like into a little booklet, and she gave it to him, which is like a very intimate, very special, very sweet, very terrible gift for a man uh, who's your husband. I was like, what? I was like. <coughs> I was like, you guys are married. Like, I was like, he sees you naked all the time. I was like, I was like, you guys, like, you guys have sex. Like, he has sex. Like, sex is the product. He owns the product. And for his birthday, you got him the brochure. <laughs> also, what kind of reaction are you hoping for with that situation? Like, what? Like, be best case scenario, he goes, oh my god, honey, this is so sweet and amazing, thank you so much. Now, if you don't mind, get the hell out of here, I'd like to be alone with the book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, it's, and then what, do you, what, that, what the hell do you do with it? That, was, that doesn't become a coffee table book. <laughs> like, In-laws are coming over, conversation piece, for sure. <laughs> no, I'll tell you where that book goes, it goes into the back of a closet next to a gun that's never been fired. <laughs> that's where that book goes. Um, uh, that's right. <laughs> Somebody's got a gun or a book. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I, I, I've given her a lot, I give her a lot of shit, but I guess I feel, I don't know, it's like the thought that counts, it's nice, sort of. It just seems like, maybe in my head, I'm just like, that's so egotistical, in a way, right? Because it's like, I could just never, I would never walk up to my friend and be like, hey, happy birthday, buddy. He's like, what the hell is this? Just some pictures of me and my underpants. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just, it seems like a weird gift to me. It's like, who's that really for? It's like, what, what's my birthday present? I let a strange man take new photos of me all day. <laughs> Documented the event, and now I'd like you to look at it. <laughs> if you could cry, that'd be great. Happy birthday, Merry Valentine's Day. I don't know, but you know they're actually great. They're a great couple. They're really cool. I like I like both of them. Um, but they, uh, I don't know, dating stuff, especially in the city. I I've had, I don't know what it is about women in New York since I moved here. Why do you all believe in ghosts? What's your problem? <laughs> you all believe in ghosts. You're into crystals, astrology, <laughs> and you just spring it on us like it's no big deal. It is a big deal. It's really. <laughs> So I got, when I first moved here, one of the girls I went on a date with, we were walking down the street, and there was this uh, one of the psychic shops. She was like, "Let's." She was like, "Come, like, let's, let's go." She was like, "Let's go there, and uh, and we, we she they can tell us about the future of our relationship." Oh and I was like, <laughs> she was like, she was like "No, I go all the time. It's great. We, we should go." And I was like, what "Are you are you serious? Are you serious?" <laughs> She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh, we we don't need to go." I was like, "We don't need to bother him. I can I know the future of this relationship." <laughs> it's not, it's not good. <laughs> Don't worry so much about reading poems, just kind of pick up on reading body language. I'm not it's ruined. Yeah, that could have been tighter at the end, you're right. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I did have a good date on uh, Sunday, it wasn't bad, or a few Sundays ago. Let's go, we, we got a bunch of food, we got dumplings. Um, but I didn't realize how large the portion sizes were going to be, they were very, they were very large. And so we had too much, we had a bunch of food left over, and neither of us wanted to waste it, so we are like, we should find a homeless person and give it to them. And for the first time in my entire life in New York City, I could not find a homeless person. <laughs> so 
I, I, I spent most of my day avoiding them. No luck whatsoever. Now I can't fight. Just it was insane. I was like, I had bait too, so it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we hung on to the food for an extended period of time. <laughs> We couldn't, I'll skip a bunch of details. We couldn't find any, any homeless person to give food to for a period of time that was so long, it wasn't necessarily safe to let them be eaten without, like, they were going to get somebody, somebody's going to be sick. So we were like, we shouldn't give this to a person. So I, I, threw on, I threw it on top of this, like, very full public trash can, started to walk away, and I was like, if I don't want a homeless person to eat that, public trash can, maybe not the best spot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of went from delivery to serve buffet style. <laughs> <laughs> Three homeless people died that night. <laughs> yeah, story. Uh, I don't know. Anybody on TikTok? Who's on TikTok? No, You're on TikTok? Nobody? Actually, I just downloaded it to check it out. That's a long story for TikTok. Anybody on TikTok? <laughs> well, my phone is currently at the Apple Store. <laughs> I have some Bitcoin issue, it's over there. Yeah, the screen is half crazy, it's not full crazy, like half crazy with the seal, I think. Just go with the seal, probably. Yeah, I went really long with the whole description of God. I went too long. You originally, you know, now I went too long. <laughs> what the fuck was I talking about? TikTok. <laughs> so we got. <laughs> Tick, all right, never mind. Uh, so you guys know what TikTok is, though. So, uh, how about To Catch a Predator? You guys familiar with To Catch a Predator? Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're very silent on the issue on that one. <laughs> predator, what are those? What are those? Uh, definitely not right here. Uh, we got. <laughs> I, bring, I just bring up the show because, uh, so it was, uh, if you don't know, what to, uh, if you happen to not know what Tate's Square was, it was a show where these uh, guys who wanted sex with kids would show up at houses, oh spank and have kids, and there wasn't kids, it was just a grown man, and a news crew, camera, and, like a police force. I, my greatest prank show of all time, I think. Basically, that sums it up. There's always, they'd be like, what are you doing? And like, my favorite part of every episode, oh, that was my, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that so much. <laughs> so good. And they, ca they canceled it in 2007 because uh, one of the pedophiles got caught, shot, and killed himself. Um, yeah. You look like you're very upset for the pedophile. <laughs> um, but anyway, so they canceled it. Because that'd be, to be fair, MSNBC was the, was the show that ran it. It's like, you know, putting a, they were in kind of a pickle, right? It's like, do we want to be the network that has a show that's making people kill themselves, or do we want to have a show that, it, we, that we canceled to protect the pedophiles? They chose. <laughs> They cancel the show to protect the pedophiles. <laughs> just think about it every time I watch MSNBC from now on. <laughs> yeah, Rachel Maddow supports it. Uh, so, uh, anyway. Um, so they canceled it, and I was bummed. It was, like, it was one of my favorite reality TV shows ever. And I was like, such a good idea. I can't believe it's gone. It's just gone. It's just gone forever. It's never going to see it again. But it's not. But it's, it went away. But it's not gone. Good ideas don't disappear. They just kind of change. They go more. And now it's on, it's on TikTok. Trash Predators on TikTok. There's no, yeah, but there's no MSNBC, there's no Chris Hansen, uh, and there's no police force. It's just 12 year old boys tricking pedophiles into meeting them in parking lots. <laughs> and the pedophile's in his car texting a little boy that he's just gonna have sex with. They creep up on the car with their cell phone and they, hey, you're gonna have sex with underage mother? Go, oh, and they get the face. <laughs> And then they peel out of the parking lot at 90 miles an hour. The kids are just like hooting and hollering at them. It's amazing. They just cut off the middleman. Like there's no more. It's so cool. It's incredible. You know, I used to, I, like I always wondered like what does justice look like. I had no idea. I thought maybe there was like a courtroom. No, if that's what it that, that's what it looks like. It's just a bunch of 12 year old boys hooting, pointing, pointing, and laughing at a grown man who really wants to fuck him but can't fuck him. That's what, that's what justice looks like. It's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, man. People who shit on technology, they're like, oh, you know, technology, it's bad for kids. It's like, oh, is it? Because it seems like it's saving them from pedophiles. Like, you know, just kind of, like, they, they got abandoned by a network and other, you know, the police force. And now they're just taking matters into their own hand, vigilante justice. <laughs> All because they have software now. It's like, it's kind of like how, like, I don't use a tax account anymore. I have TurboTax. That's sort of what TikTok is. TikTok is like, it's like uh, a TurboTax for pedophilia. That's what TikTok is. You should all get it. <laughs> right, let's switch it up a little bit. That was enough pedophile stuff. <laughs> Pornography. Um, I was just on a podcast with one of my uh, comedy, uh, comedy buddies, and he, uh, 
Wait, it was the, the premise of the podcast is like you you look through people's search histories and you talk about what they've been looking at online. And we got we got to the host and we, we he showed us his um, uh, like the last porno video we watched. The title the title of the video was uh, "Psychology Professor Fucks Real Estate Agent." <laughs> I was like, oh, that's awesome. I was really happy. Because, you know, I, I know a lot of uh, uh, improv comics, and it's really hard for them to get work. So it's great that they're now writing the titles of improv. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way you come up with that, like, all right, we need a profession. Real estate! <laughs> all right, I think I heard real estate agent. We're going to need another profession. Psychology professor! All right, psychology professor. All right, we uh, need a location now. Unfurnished studio, ground floor, apartment, middle of the day, summer in Los Angeles. <laughs> I think I heard Castle. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, we didn't watch the whole video. Uh, I wish we did because uh, I, I just really hope that it ends with the psychology professor putting her hands in her head and just being like, why do I keep doing this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to help my students when I can't even help myself? <laughs> All right, I, I'm, I'm done. <laughs>